My name is Te Pura. On my campus, I found a small tree languishing in the shadow of some well-established trees, and I replanted it and called it my PhD tree. And the tree is me, and I am the tree, and together we will flourish in my studies. I am dreaming of Māori students like myself being unstoppable in their quest for academic qualification. Now, Māori participation in the tertiary sector is growing. In the last 10 years, postgraduate numbers have gone up. Last year, there were 500 plus Māori doctoral enrolments, and I was one of them. The numbers are great, but if they were trees, it would be a very small Māori grove. And I wanted to think about what are the ways that tertiary staff, like academics, counsellors, librarians, administrators, how do they imbue in us a sense of being unstoppable? Now, they might not use those words, but I wanted to get together with a group of Māori students and a group of these uh, tertiary staff along with me where we could share our experiences, what we know, what we've done. And then there will be the next moment, an exhilarating time where we make meaning of everything and then come out with some best exemplars of how to move on in Māori supports. What I've liked about this, this idea of the study is that further on I want to run a symposium where Māori students come and they hear their own voice and they're in preparation for going on to their doctorate, prepare them in the early entry stages. So as students, you're all aware of the sense of languishing in your studies, where you are in a state of procrastination and despair and hope leads away. What is important for doctoral students who are Māori is that qualifications create wealth, which then creates outcomes important to Māori, like health, wealth, education opportunities and sustainable whānau, family uh, environments and conditions. And what I like is the idea and what I dream of, my unstoppable vision, is that my PhD will be put alongside other Māori PhD trees and it will be a forest that is so vast that it stretches to the horizon and beyond. Imagine that. I do. Kilda. <laughs> <laughs>